What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to your daily Luna Classic updates. Um, obviously, most importantly, I hope you're all doing great. Hope you're all enjoying your weekends a little bit. Um, and um, yeah, let, let's take a look at Luna Classic. So usually what I do in these videos is uh, we start off with some of the fundamentals around Luna Classic, all right? Because Luna Classic, believe it or not, is a fundamental, fundamentally driven token, all right? Most of its big moves are because of price fundamentals or big listings or big burns. That's how Luna Classic moves. And, and if, if, if that doesn't happen, we're either consolidating or in trending down. First, I quickly wanted to grab your attention from a new partner, Bing X. Bing X is one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges out there. It's 100% legit and you have a lot of cryptos to trade and buy. And apart from that, if you sign up right now through the link down in the description, you get a 10% off all transaction fees forever and you can get up to a $125 bonus for free. Now let's get on with the rest of the video. So um, over the last weeks, we haven't actually had that much positive fundamentals, all right? Um, yesterday we had some buzz about a, a Robin Hood listing. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. But in but apart from that, there hasn't been a lot, all right? So tomorrow, obviously, we'll, we'll get that big burn uh, from Binance, which is bullish. Usually, ahead of that, we'll, we'll actually get some bullish momentum. I'm not sure if that's still going to happen because I, I expect it to be a, a little bit over 1 billion, but not more than that. Um, and apart from that, what you saw is that the burn tax now has uh, officially dried up. It's only 33 million Luna Classic, which is almost nothing. Um, in my opinion, if, if, if I mean, obviously the, the burn tax decreased from 1.2% to 0.2%. So if you would actually do this times six, uh, you would have almost 200 million Luna Classic being burned, which is which would actually be, be nice. Um, so I guess you could say that that volume on the Luna Classic chain is actually increasing again, which, which could be a good thing, but still I don't think in the end, I don't think the, the reduction from a 1.2% tax to a 0.2% tax is a good thing for the price of Luna Classic, at least not short term. And I very much doubt that it's going to be that long term. And so fundamentals to me look, look very grim and, and look very bearish. They have been looking bearish for, for the last couple of, for the last week, probably. So we're in a big downtrend. Um, and what I usually say in, in these downtrends, and especially for Luna Classic, is, is that the only way we can get out of this is a strong support level or strong fundamentals. Right now, I think most fundamentals are, are still looking very bearish, but as I said a little bit earlier, um, we have that Robin Hood listing possibly. All right, so if you went, actually would like to get Luna Classic listed on uh, Robin Hood, um, which would be a bullish thing, all right? If, if it actually gets listed on Robin Hood, and I think like when uh, the Coinbase listing rumors were there, I think this was the move we got. Now, Coinbase, a Coinbase listing, in my opinion, is better than a Robin Hood listing. But if, if the Robin Hood listing would actually come, I do think we could get all the way up to 26,000 and 26,500 again, which, which would be amazing right now in the short term for Luna Classic, uh, because that gives us some, some poss possibilities, all right? Mm. If you want to get it, uh, if, if you want to get it listed, what you need to do is you need to type in Robin Hood and then Luna Classic and you'll have to sign this petition. All right. Uh, right now, not even 7,500 people have signed it, um, which is not a lot. When Shiba Inu actually did something like this, I think I got like 600,000 people signing it. Um, so it's not a lot, but if you want to see change, you have to do it at yourself, right? So fill in that petition if, if you'd like to. But until that happens, until we get those, until we get a listing on or other bullish fundamentals, we'll continue this drop down. As I said, tomorrow we'll have that Binance burn. So maybe from 22,000, we'll, we'll have some sort of a, a bullish move. But after that, in the days after that, if we don't have bullish fundamentals, we'll break through 22,000 and get up to this level right here at around 20,000 uh, and, and ultimately between 20,000 and 18,000. And then from there, because that's actually quite a strong support level, we might also get some bullish fundamentals, but uh, or some bullish moves, excuse me. Um, but I'll, I'll leave that up to future me in, in updates. It's too, too early right now for me to say anything about that. Um, so for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening and uh, take care today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, bye.